A gerbil is a furry mouse-like animal that jumps around like a tiny kangaroo. A gerbil will only grow from four to five inches or 10 to 12 centimetres long. A gerbil has sandy coloured fur, long hind legs and a tuft of hair at the end of the tail. Many people keep gerbils as pets. Some gerbils live in wild Africa and Asia and they live together in long tunnels. Gerbil reads J, J, J. G reads J, J, J. The giant gerbil would not shove. He waited for a piece of fudge. George Gerbil was a giant gerbil. Among all the other gerbils, you would always see George Gerbil. His head stuck up above all the others when the gerbils lined up to play a game. Though George Gerbil was a rather gigantic gerbil, he had a very nice disposition. In fact, George Gerbil was such a quiet and patient gerbil that everyone said to him, Come on, George Gerbil, stand up for yourself. Don't be so patient. Still, George Gerbil was patient. He knew it was right. One day, a huge fudge truck came to town. It seemed to have enough fudge for everybody in the whole state. You have never seen so much fudge in your life. There was carob fudge, white fudge, caramel fudge, and peanut butter fudge. All the little gerbils gathered around until you could hardly see the fudge truck because of all the little gerbils. A man with jolly red cheeks and shiny blue eyes jumped out of the fudge truck. Come on, little gerbils, you will have to budge a bit. I will never be able to get the door of the fudge truck open. I want to buy some fudge, one little gerbil. Of course you do, said the fudge man. You shall have some fudge too. But first, you will have to wait until the fudge judge has tasted all the fudge. Then I will sell the fudge. About that time, a wrinkled, cross-looking aged man in a blue suit came out of his little brown house. And there's the fudge judge now, said the man with the fudge truck. Let's see what he thinks about our fudge. All the gerbils gathered closer. But all but George Gerbil, that is. He stood back politely and let everyone else get in front of him. Come on, George Gerbil, his friends cried. You won't get any fudge if you just stand there. Come on. George Gerbil would not move, would not shove and would not budge. George Gerbil just stood patiently as he always did. First, said the fudge truck man to the fudge judge, I want you to try our beautiful carob fudge. He cut off a nice chunk and handed it to the fudge judge. All the little gerbils' mouths began to water. What delicious looking fudge. The fudge judge made an unpleasant face as he tasted the carob fudge. That fudge is, oh, I'd say it's medium soft. I never did care much for carob fudge. The little gerbils couldn't believe it. How could anyone taste such delicious looking fudge and make such a face? The gerbils pressed closer, smelling the good smells of the carob fudge. Now, sir, said the fudge truck man to the fudge judge, here are some of our famous peanut butter fudge. The wrinkled little aged man opened his mouth and popped in the delicious smelling square of peanut butter fudge. Oh, it smelled luscious. Every little gerbil, except George Gerbil, that is, pressed closer to sniff the aroma of the peanut butter fudge. That fudge is just too sweet, said Fudge Judge. Now try our wonderful white fudge, Judge, said the fudge truck man. Again, the wrinkled aged man made a face and tasted the fudge. Now that fudge, he said, thinking seriously, is too hard. By this time, the fudge man could hardly reach his truck to get the caramel fudge because the little gerbils were shoving so close. 
All but George Gerbil, that is. George Gerbil still stood politely behind the other gerbils, even though his whiskers were jiggling because of the delicious fudge smells. Caramel fudge, asked the fudge judge. I never could stand it personally, but he continued putting a large piece in his mouth. I will judge it. All the gerbils' eyes watched as the fudge judge tasted the fudge and frowned most furiously. That caramel fudge, said the fudge judge, will not do at all. It is much too sticky. All the little gerbils looked at each other. How could all the fudge be either too soft, too sweet, too hard or too sticky? Oh, how the gerbils would like to be fudge judges. Let us help, all the gerbils cried. Yes, we'll help. We'll taste the fudge. Give us some fudge. The little gerbils, almost overcome with hunger and desire for the beautiful fudge, were, I'm sorry to say, r quite rude, stepping on each other, pushing and shoving, reaching and falling, just to buy a piece of fudge. Well, it was really disgraceful. The fudge man said, you may have just one piece each. Here is fudge for you, and a piece for you, and a nice carrot piece for you, and peanut butter fudge for you. Each gerbil got just one piece of fudge. What about George Gerbil? How could anyone be so patient? Would George Gerbil miss the fudge because he stood back politely? The fudge man looked at George Gerbil. And for you, George Gerbil, a special reward. You are, without a doubt, the most patient gerbil I have ever seen. I am sure you like fudge, and I want to give you a piece of each kind of fudge. He reached in the truck. Here's a large piece of carob fudge, a large piece of white fudge, a large piece of caramel fudge, and a large piece of peanut butter fudge, all for you. He handed the four large pieces of fudge to George Gerbil. Wasn't it a good idea to be patient as George Gerbil was and not pushy? It certainly was. George Gerbil got four large pieces instead of one small one. What was even nicer was that when it was time for the new fudge judge to be chosen, guess who got the job? George Gerbil, that's who. He was one happy gerbil. If you think George Gerbil frowned and said, too sweet, too soft, too sticky, too hard, then you are mistaken. Every time George Gerbil tried a piece of fudge, his eyes lighted up. A happy smile came over his face and he said, Oh, delicious. That's lovely. Oh, what wonderful fudge. Yes, I believe that George Gerbil was the best fudge judge there has ever been. It all happened because George Gerbil was patient and didn't complain. George Gerbil just stood quietly without fudging until it was time for him to get a piece of fudge. What size was Ger George Gerbil? Yes, that's right. He was the biggest gerbil of all. He was a giant gerbil. What were the character traits that George Gerbil showed? Yes, he was patient. He stood quietly and waited. He didn't push or shove. He was a very polite gerbil, wasn't he? came to town that excited the gerbils? You're right, it was a fudge truck. What did all the gerbils except George Gerbil do? Yes, he did. The other gerbils pushed and shoved and gathered all around close, unlike George who waited patiently. Did the fudge judge like the fudge he tasted? Good answer, that's right. No, he didn't. They were too hard, too soft, too sweet. He didn't like the fudge at all. What did the judge say was wrong with the fudge? Oh, that's right. You've already answered that one, haven't you? Too hard too soft, too sweet, too sticky. He had lots of complaints. Which gerbil was patient and would not shove?
That's right, his name was George Gerbil, wasn't it? Who noticed how well behaved George Gerbil was? Yes, that's correct, it was the fudge man. What did the fudge truck man do to reward George Gerbil? Yes, he gave him four pieces of fudge, one of each kind. Who became the new fudge judge? Yes, that was easy, wasn't it? George Gerbil became the new fudge judge. Is it better to push or to be patient? Yes, being patient's much better, isn't it? Well done. Listen as I tell you a word. Can you hear the j sound? Germ. Can you hear the j sound in the word germ? Yes, germ has the j sound. Cell. Can you hear the j sound in the word cell? No, the word cell doesn't have the j sound. Fudge. Can you hear the j sound in the word fudge? Yes, the word fudge has the j sound. Stage. Can you hear the j sound in the word stage? Yes, the word stage has the j sound. Most. Can you hear the j sound in the word most? No, the word most doesn't have the j sound. Age. Can you hear the j sound in the word age? Yes. The word age has the j sound. Six. Can you hear the j sound in the word six? No, the word six doesn't have the j sound. Bridge. Can you hear the j sound in the word bridge? Yes, the word bridge has the j sound. Walk. Can you hear the j sound in the word walk? No, it doesn't have the j sound. Huge. Can you hear the j sound in the word huge? Yes, the word huge has the j sound. Listen as we read these sentences. Can you find the j sound? And water wash germs from our hands. Can you find the word that has the j sound? Water wash jones from our hands. John has a j sound. What age are you? Can you find the word that has the j sound? What age are you? Age. Age has a j sound. The word that God made for us is huge. Can you find the word with the j sound? The word that God made for us is huge. Huge. Huge has a j sound. J. It's fun to play in the gym. Can you find the word that has the j sound? It's so much fun to play in the gym. Gym. Gym has the j sound. The bridge crosses over a river. Can you find the word that has the j sound? The bridge crosses over the river. Bridge. Bridge has a j, j sound. Let's blend these sounds. J, A, J, A, J, J. J, A, J, A, J, J. J, A, J, A. Ja, ja. J, E, J, E, G, G. J, E, J, E, J, J. A, J, A, J, Age. A, J, 
j, a j, edge, edge, a j, a j, edge, edge, e j, e j, edge, edge, a j, a j, edge, edge. Let's blend these sounds into words. The gray letters are silent and don't make any sounds. A j, a j, age, age, s a j, s a j, sage, sage, r a j, r a j. Rage, rage. J a m, j a m, jam, jam. Run with patience the race set before us. Hebrews twelve, verse one c. Did you know that fussing and griping and complaining are sinful? They are. Every time we start to fuss or complain, we should remind ourselves that it is wrong. The Bible tells us to do all things without complaining. God led his people, Israel, out of Egypt. He promised to take the Israelites to a beautiful land of their own if they would obey him and be his people. Moses was their leader and what wonderful things God did for them. He opened up the Red Sea so they could go through on dry land. Their feet didn't even get wet. Then God let the waters return on Pharaoh's army, which was chasing God's people. The waters returned and covered the chariots, the horsemen and all of Pharaoh's army. None of them remained. When God's people saw the mighty work that God had done, they feared and believed the Lord and God's servant Moses. When the Israelites had travelled three more days, they needed water. They came to a fountain, but its waters were bitter. So they complained, what shall we drink? God made the water sweet for them. God sent manna, angels food for them to eat in the morning. At night, God sent quail for them to eat. Soon they were complaining again. They were thirsty. They were almost ready to stone Moses. God told Moses to hit a certain rock and water came out. God stayed with the Israelites and gave them a sign. A cloud was always over them by day and a pillar of fire by night to show that the presence of God was there. When the armies came to fight them, God helped them to win. He caused the walls of the city of Jericho to fall. God made their clothing last for 40 years. Their shoes did not even wear out. Even though God loved them and cared for them, they were never happy for long. They would praise God for a short time, then they would start complaining again. They complained about Moses. They complained about the laws God gave. Finally, they worshipped idols and forgot God. What a sad story. God punished them for their sins and many died in the wilderness. Though they were chosen of God and cared for by him, they were miserable because they murmured and complained all the time. We have in the Bible many examples of Christians who did not murmur. They were patient and did not complain, no matter what happened. Job was such a man. We say sometimes a person is as patient as Job because he trusts God and doesn't complain. Exodus chapters 13 to 17 and chapter 32. In the New Testament, we read about Paul who continually thanked God. Paul was beaten many times. He was taken out of town and left for dead. He praised God. Paul was put in jail. Paul thanked God and sang songs. Paul could not see very well. God, Paul thanked God. When people who were his friends turned against him, Paul thanked God. Paul just stayed happy in the Lord. I've learned to be content no matter what happens to me, Paul said. Paul didn't complain. Paul praised God. Character objective, patient, to accept whatever happens. When we accept a difficult situation with calm endurance, 
without complaining or losing self-control, we show patience. Boys and girls, we grieve God when we complain. We should be happy and thankful to him. When hard things come, we should learn to be patient and not fuss. Let's learn to praise and not complain. Run with patience the race set before us. Hebrews 12, 1c. Run with patience the race set before us. Hebrews 12, 1c. Say it with me. Run with patience the race set before us. Hebrews 12, 1c. Gerbil reads, J, J, J. G reads, J, J, J. The giant gerbil would not shove. He 